What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full day of eating for y'all. It is currently 8.26 in the morning. I woke up, I took my kids to school, I came home, and I just cleaned up from last night. Like any, I put up dishes that were cleaned. I vacuumed because all the leaves from outside keep tracking in my house every time we come in and it's driving me insane. So I have these little leaves on my carpet. So I had to vacuum everything. Opened up my windows, lit my hot cocoa candle. It smells amazing in here. And we are ready to get this day started and this morning. But first, we gotta have coffee. I actually didn't have coffee yesterday and I didn't really realize it until the nighttime. And I was surprised I didn't get a headache really surprisingly but i did wake up with a slight headache this morning i don't know the coffee addiction is real that's what i get for drinking so much coffee but i was surprised i didn't get a headache so i'm just gonna have me a cup of coffee before i start getting ready as always i cannot get ready squirting some stevia love stevia liquid drops um i cannot get ready without drinking coffee at the same time that's just what i like to do i get ready for the day Today, I'm going to be having this vanilla almond flavor in the Jordan Skinny Syrups. Guys, don't forget, I do have a discount code on their website, um, skinnysyrups.com. If you use Keto with Sammy at checkout, you will receive discounts on these awesome flavors for your coffees, for desserts, anything you want to use. They have so many flavors. And especially right now around the holidays, they always come out with like awesome holiday flavors. So if you are in the festive mood, grab yourself some holiday syrups for your coffee. I love holiday syrups. I'm going to add a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream for some fat and for some creaminess. This is what I use, guys. This is what I always use, heavy whipping cream. I used to use half and half a lot. Um, if I have half and half on hand, I'll use that. I just kind of switch between them, but mostly I stick with heavy whipping cream. Or you could use unsweetened almond milk for a creamer. I know I get a lot of questions on what to use for creamers. Heavy whipping cream, half and half unsweetened almond milk or if you just find um a low sugar an unsweetened sugar-free creamer at the store you could definitely use that i would just use sugar-free stuff in moderation um because you know even though it says uh sugar-free sometimes some of them have hidden sugars unless you get like those natural almond ones or something like that like those nut pod ones those are really good I had those, um, I got that peppermint one a while back and then I've been seeing, I think they have a pumpkin one that I had saw at HEB. I just have yet to grab it because I always have heavy whipping cream on hand so I just haven't really grabbed it. I was like in the pumpkin mood all October and now I'm kind of pumpkined out. So I've been, honestly, like when Christmas comes around, I want chocolate everything. Like I lit my hot cocoa and cream candle from Bath and Body Works and oh my God, if y'all haven't smelled that candle, it is so good. Like if you're a big chocolate fan like me and you smell that candle, it's literally a hot cocoa in a jar and it's just amazing. So my hot, my living room over there smells like hot cocoa right now and I'm so excited. Mm. All right guys, so I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to get ready for the day and after I get ready, we are going to whip up some breakfast because I am hungry today. I worked out last night, took a shower and went straight to sleep. So I have an appetite this morning. So let me go get ready really quickly. All right, I'm back, I am ready, and I am starving. I finished most of my coffee, I have like very little. But today, I want a good breakfast. I didn't get to make this last week, so I'm making it today. Today for breakfast, we are going to be having some boneless pork chops. I'm gonna eat, they're wafer thin, so they're not thick. I might eat about three, maybe. But I like to put this hot sauce over it. This is just ranchero salsa. You could totally make your own homemade, but I just get it in the jar quick and easy. And then on the side, we're going to be making some eggs. So let's get to cooking some breakfast. Okay, so I'm just going to light up my heat and dropping down some baking grease just to give it some flavor. I'm only going to put about a teaspoon. And this is some added fat as well. Now I'm gonna drop some pork chops in. I'm not eating all of them, but I'm gonna cook all of them just for leftovers for tomorrow. I seasoned it with some salt and pepper on one side. And as you can see, these are very thin.
I'm just gonna season the other side with some pepper and some salt as well. And these shouldn't take long to cook at all. A little bit of pink salt. like this. Okay, once my pork chops are done cooking, I just lower my heat because when I put my salsa in, I don't want it popping everywhere. Now I'm going to take that ranchero salsa and just pour it all over the pork chops. This salsa is two net carbs each per serving, which is really good. And you're just gonna let the salsa heat through and your pork chops are ready. Now we just have to make the eggs. Easy peasy. So good. I absolutely love salsa and pork chops. I don't really eat pork chops anymore unless it's like this. These are my weakness. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm just gonna let it sit here for about another minute and then we're gonna move on to our eggs. Now for the eggs, I'm just making myself some easy over easy eggs. You make them how you want them. I am putting down another teaspoon of bacon grease just to fry my eggs in. I'm going to be adding two eggs for my meal today. Got to season your eggs with some salt and pepper as well. See if I can flip them without messing them up. Mm, that one needs a little bit longer. I can never do this. I think I got that one. All right guys, my eggs are done. Now I'm just gonna serve it right up. All right guys, and here is breakfast. I have myself three of the wafer thin pork chops in my salsa and two eggs. These are two large eggs. So for this meal, it's about five net carbs only because of the salsa, which is really good. It's still low because I'm, I'm probably gonna be only eating twice a day since when I had breakfast like this, like a bigger breakfast um, other than like my meal replacement or something like that, I kind of skip lunch. But if I'm hungry, I will have a snack. So maybe I'll have a snack later and then we go in with dinner. I never eat three times a day. That's just, I only eat twice a day. I used to eat once a day, but since I'm working out now, I push for twice a day because I need that extra, you know, food. So yeah, this will be breakfast. And then later on, I did take out some burgers to defrost. We are going to be having some cheeseburgers on Sola bread with some jalapeno poppers and some Quest chips. So that is going to be delicious. <laughs> but all right, guys, I am just going to sit here and enjoy my easy breakfast. Hopefully, y'all give this a try. Try the pork chops with salsa. The ranchero salsa is so good if you haven't tried it. Naku decided to come have some breakfast with me. He is eating a pork chop and an egg. He loves to eat anything that I eat. Ow. <laughs> Can't pick up his egg. Mm. Is it good? Snuck in the candy and I didn't even notice. Look at all those wrappers. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> All right guys, so me and my son ate breakfast, then we went outside. We went outside for like 30 minutes and we cleaned up around my house. We raked up all the leaves and just like picked up any trash. Cause everybody loves fall, right? I absolutely love fall. But then you don't realize that you're the one that has to clean up all the leaves around your house. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So they were driving me nuts. So me and my, my, me and my husband, me and my son went out there and just raked up some leaves. I got him moving, got him outside for about 30 minutes to be productive after breakfast. He was just out there with a the dustpan and picking up all the leaves and putting them in the trash bag. So we filled up a whole trash bag and it looks more clean around the house. There's no, all these crazy leaves. So I wanted to update y'all on my measurements. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I posted my updated measurements on the 25th, but I know some of y'all don't have social media or you don't have Facebook. So I wanted to update y'all on here. So when I first started my workout journey, my goal is to lose inches and gain muscle. 
So I started on October 29th and I took my measurements November 25th. So I'm updating y'all every four weeks. I will update y'all in another four weeks again. So for my waist, I started at 34 inches and now my waist is at 32 inches. So I dropped two inches, which is so good. I'm so excited for that. Now my right arm was at 11 and a half inches and now my right arm is 13 inches. Guys, I gained about almost two inches in muscle on my right arm. And that is so good for four weeks. So I am feeling the progress and now I'm seeing the progress visually in the mirror. I see my arms are toning out. I take pictures and that is my goal. So I'm excited for that. And all I've been doing is lifting weights five days a week, guys. I have that weight bench now. So I just lift, I do sets. That's what I do. And I'm, I try to move up at least five pounds like every two days. So right now I'm at 30. 30 pounds lifting and hopefully I can get to 35 today. I think I can because yesterday, you know, I was pushing and it hurt a little bit. I was tired, but I think I can go up another five pounds today. So my left arm started at 11 and a half and now my left arm is at 12 inches. So that's pretty good too. My strongest is my right arm. Like that's like my dominant arm. So I feel like, I don't know, you know, your arms are always going to be like two different sizes, but you can't really tell. So then my right, I took my thigh measurements. My right thigh was 22 inches and now my right thigh is 24 inches. So I gained two inches of muscle on my thighs and my legs are toning out. I could see it. Um, my left thigh is 23 and my, and now my left thigh is 24. So I went up an inch as well on my left thigh. And I am going to update y'all on pictures right now. I'm just updating y'all measurements. I have to visually see it. I want to see a big change and update y'all on pictures. So eventually I will, I promise. And then my hips stay the same. They're 41 inches. I'm not too worried about my hips. My waist is what I want to um, concentrate on and my arms. My arms, I'm like, oh girl, you get muscle. I feel it every time, <laughs> every day I work out and I go up to my husband. I'm like, look, look, I don't even have to flex. And he's just like... <laughs> It's funny, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I am excited about. So, updated progress, and I will update y'all on a picture very soon, guys. Y'all get to working out. If y'all are like wanting to work out, just do it. You just have to do it. You just have to get that motivation, find that motivation, and get to it. It doesn't have to be crazy. Start off slow. I started off slow, and I'm still seeing progress. You know, progress is progress, and... I want everybody to get into that zone, be healthy, work out. Y'all could do it. I promise. This is what I'm here for to motivate y'all and show y'all that it can be done. You know, I got three boys. I'm busy all the time. YouTube, school, my kids, my husband, just mom life. I am always busy, but I make that time for me, myself. And I make that time because I want to see changes in me and I want to hit my goals and strive for those goals. So make the time guys. I work out as soon as my kids go to sleep. My kids are in bed usually by 8.30 and I'm in my garage working out. And sometimes I have late nights and sometimes I'm tired, but hey, I wanna hit those goals, so I'm gonna do it. So y'all find that motivation and I hope y'all you know do and y'all make y'all's changes for y'all and hit those goals. So right now, I think I'm gonna show y'all my updated workout gym. I know I posted a picture, some of y'all seen it, but let's go check it out because I actually need to go to the store here in a bit and I'll show y'all for what. Okay guys, so this right here, my husband found on um, a face offer up maybe for $20 and it's an ab workout machine because I really want to tone up my stomach and it also works out like your inner thighs. So this is really good. I tried it yesterday and it works. I do it for about 10 minutes. Then I showed y'all my treadmill that we had got and then over here we have my weight bench. This is what I lift guys. This is what I do sets on. The right here has 30 pounds. And then I also do legs right here for leg day. And I have been absolutely loving it. My husband has been using it too. He's been working out, trying to do five days a week. He does two during the week and then three days on his off day because he's off the weekends. So he's been working out and doing really good as well. This is what we just got. So this right here is just a bite. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. The bicycle workout thing. You know what I'm talking about. So we just got this. We got it for a really good deal on OfferUp as well for $80. And I'm excited to use it. This is what I wanted. I want to switch between this and the treadmill for cardio days. So today I actually want to do this. 
So, um, but it needs batteries. So this is what I'm about to go to the store for. It needs right here some batteries for some D batteries. So I didn't get to go yesterday because it got late. So I want to go today here in a bit to go get some batteries so I can hit this up today. But I'm excited to use this. This is our little home gym. My husband put the TV up here with our speakers. So when we run, we get distracted. Got some weights right there. And then um, over here, ignore this. I got to get rid of these Legos, guys. I don't know what to do with all these Legos. My kids don't play with them, but I didn't want to throw them out. I put them in here because I was cleaning out their toys. Now I have to get rid of them. So I have my yoga mat right here. And right here, I just have like all my little accessories. I got my weightlifting um, gloves, some jump ropes, and mother weights. So this is what we're working with right now. And it looks really good. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm headed to the store to get some D batteries. And I think my husband wanted some sugar-free chocolates because he had a sweet tooth last night. And I didn't have none on hand. So I have to pick those up too while I'm there. And then I am going to a store called Once Upon a Child, if y'all know what that is, if y'all are here in Baytown. Um, basically, it's like clothes that are in very good condition, but they're reused like kids clothes. So what I do is I take all like pants and sweaters that don't fit my kids no more. I take them and just trade them in and get them anything that they need. Guys, the clothes are always in good condition. Most of the time they're brand new sometimes as well. And my kids, these boys grow so fast, so... I always buy them new clothes and they only wear them a couple of times and then they're grown. Especially, well, mainly the baby. Like the bigger boys, I, I always get them new clothes. But the baby lately has been growing so fast. Like, he's only three and he is already in a size six pants and that's the size that my middle one wears and he went from like a four to a six like that so his pants are kind of fitting snug they're five five t's so i need to go up a size on him and then my middle my middle one he needs more long sleeves like just thicker long sleeves since it's getting colder so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pick up a couple of shirts and maybe like a couple pairs of pants for them and and then i'll just go as the weeks go by i'll just go and get whatever else I need because right now we're gonna be getting Christmas gifts and they're growing and I'm like y'all need to stop <laughs> so that's what I have planned for right now so let's head to the store okay guys we went to H-E-B I got what I needed I got the batteries I got my husband the sugar-free chocolates I'll show you at home what chocolates I'm talking about and then I'm right here on Once Upon a Child we went in and I traded in some clothes and then picked out some clothes so basically I only had to pay a couple of bucks for trading in and then taking some clothes and this one wanted a toy they have toys everywhere when you go in there and it drives me nuts <laughs> but I had to take them of course you know so I was like okay just get it he's been into puzzles lately so he got a little puzzle but we are on our way home now and I'm probably gonna have a snack um, before I pick up the kids from school all right I just got home just walked in the door and I just wanted to show y'all what sugar-free chocolates I was talking about so we like to keep these in the freezer um, I don't know we just like cold chocolate so i know y'all probably seen these in my older videos but i actually haven't bought them in a while um i don't know i just you know we kind of weaned off of them but lately my husband's been wanting them so they are the russell stover sugar free now they have a variety pack this big where it's like mint chocolate peanut butter these pecan delights are my absolute fa favorite and then they have a toffee mix and then they have just pecan delights they have just mint like you know they have a whole variety so just make sure they're sugar free um, these are the pecan delights. These are our favorite. They are so good. We absolutely love them. I got them at HEB. Um, you can also buy them on Amazon if you want. Um, I don't, I think Kroger has them as well. Walmart has them. All the grocery stores have them. So, but they do have regular chocolate. So just read your label because you want to make sure they're sugar free. Now the macros on these are two pieces is a serving, um, for... So it has 14 grams of sugar alcohol and one dietary fiber. So they are two net carbs for two pieces. So one net carb each. And my husband loves these. I had him have them in a little bit. And this is what we picked up today. And I just picked up a few other things. I got the batteries. So I'm going to go put those in and see, you know, how the bike works. I wanted the batteries. Like you can use it without it. But I wanted the resistance of the bike. So that's why I got the batteries. So I'm going to see what I can whip up right now for a snack because I'm slightly hungry. All right, guys, snack time. So I originally got these for my husband this week, but he don't need them, right? I am going to be snacking on some salt and vinegar chicharrones by H-E-B. These are so good. I love their chicharrones. And then I'm going to be dipping it in some plain cream cheese. You can also sprinkle some like bagel not included seasoning on here and enjoy it that way. 
But since the chicharrones are already flavored, I'm just going to dip it. And this is going to be my snack for today. And I'm going to sit here and enjoy peace and quiet for like 15 to 20 minutes watching some murder shows because I'm a weirdo. And that's what I like to watch. That's what I watch all the time is just documentaries and crime shows and murder shows and yeah i don't know so mm. Mm. they're so good yeah i never tried chicharrones the salt and vinegar ones i was like ew i don't want to try salt and vinegar and then i tried them one day and they're so freaking good if y'all never try them i like to get the cream cheese spread just so it's easier to dip I remember, oh, Bella. I remember when I, like, a long time ago when I wasn't keto, I would always eat hot Cheetos and cream cheese. I was like, oh, well, I miss eating chips and cream cheese. I was like, well, chicharrones would be good with this. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want an easy snack, here it is. All right, guys, I'm just going to sit here. Enjoy my snack and watch a little bit of TV before I have to go pick up these crazy kids and get dinner started and all that fun stuff. <laughs> hey right, guys, one more piece of art. The boys got home from school. Wow. Uh -oh, picture day. Oh, oh no. Say hi, Brando. Aww. How was school? Huh? How was fun? Yeah. Okay, so now that the boys are settled, they came home undressed did all that stuff showed me everything in their backpack as always <laughs> they got picture day coming up and they got holiday parties well not parties because due to covid they're doing like special little things so they got little holiday things coming up on what they can do but since they are home i get started on making them dinner and then i will get started on making me and my husband dinner here in a bit Kids are fed and I got comfortable. Now it's time to start making dinner. So first I'm going to start with some jalapeno poppers. So I take, it's just for me. My husband doesn't um, eat spicy stuff. So I have three of them. I split them so it makes six. So I got three jalapenos. I soften up some cream cheese in a bowl and I season that with Slap Your Mama. And then I put a little bit of cheddar cheese and mix it all together. And then we wrap them in some bacon and we will put them in an air fryer. I got my softened cream cheese right here, and I'm just going to season it with some Slap Your Mama. I love this seasoning. It's a little saucy, so you don't have to go too heavy. And then I just put like a handful of cheese, or a pinch, just like this, of cheddar cheese. And then you just mix it all together. I love jalapeno poppers with burgers, because mine was like always chips. I mean, I do have Quest chips with it, but I just love jalapeno poppers. So it just makes up for anything else. So it's nice and creamy like this. Now I'm going to take these jalapenos, split them in half, and clean them out. Okay, so I cleaned out all my jalapenos, and now I'm going to stuff them with my cream cheese. My husband just called me. He is on his way home from work. Him and his brother call me every day after work to see what I'm making for dinner. <laughs> all the time. Because remember, guys, I cook for his brother too most days. Okay, so... I just stuff them like this and then just repeat until you're done and then we're gonna wrap them in bacon. Then once you have them stuffed, you're gonna take a slice of bacon and then just wrap it around it. I know a lot of y'all probably know what these are. Some of y'all don't, y'all are from different areas and y'all don't really eat stuff like this. These are so good. I love to have these at barbecues and honestly for anything, I could eat these all day. Just like that and then we're just gonna air fry them. Okay, so I set the jalapeno poppers to the side. I'll cook them here in a minute because I like them hot and fresh after the burgers. So I just took some regular ground chuck burger patties. Use whatever y'all want. I like them pre-shaped because I am not good at shaping burgers. And they just come in handy. I like the four pack because me and my husband, he'll eat like two most times, but I only eat one. So I'm going to season my burgers with this hamburger deluxe seasoning from Fiesta brand. I get this from H-E-B. And then I'm going to season it with some Flavor God Everything seasoning and where's that? Oh, some pepper. Season both sides. And today I'm going, usually for burgers now that I have my Ninja Grill, I put that in, I put the burgers in there. And it acts, well it's supposed to be a grill, an inside grill. 
season it with a little bit of this hamburger seasoning. And then I'm gonna flip them and season the other side. Now that my burgers are seasoned, I have my Ninja Grill right here and I'm just going to start preheating it. So for burgers, I'm just gonna push grill right here and usually it's already set to high and you just push start and it'll preheat. All right, it finished preheating. Now I'm just gonna let them grill. While the burgers are grilling, I have my handy dandy old air fryer as you can see. Um, I have my jalapeno poppers on here. Sorry if the grill is loud. I think it is pretty loud, but it works wonders. Usually I grill, I air fry these in the grill too, but since I'm making burgers today, I have to whip out my older air fryer. So I just set these to 400 and I let them crisp up for about 15 to 20 minutes. While well, we got the burgers going and the jalapeno poppers, we're going to start preparing all the inside stuff, the lettuce, the tomato, the mayonnaise, the mustard, all the good stuff. And my burgers are done grilling. Ooh, look at those. Guys, if y'all haven't got one of these Ninja Grills or tried one before, do it. I absolutely love it. They always come out perfect. And it was cooked literally in 10 minutes. Look at that. My jalapenos are still cooking, but I prepared all the stuff. I have a little bit of avocado right here. I wanted to use it for my burger just before it goes bad. I have some lettuce, some tomato just for me. My husband doesn't like tomato extra pickles my husband loves extra pickles these are the cheese i'm going to be using for the burgers they're circular made for um burgers it just comes in handy it's just mild cheddar then we're going to add some mustard and some mayo and y'all probably wondering what i'm going to put these on i'm using my favorite solo bread oh, in the sweet and buttery two net carbs each this is what we're going to be using in replace of our bun all right guys my jalapeno poppers are done oh look at that oh my god i love these things so it's nice and crispy i'm gonna let them sit here because if you bite into these when they're hot you are asking to get burned all right guys and here is dinner i have my jalapeno poppers my burger on some solo bread i put tomatoes pickles lettuce everything y'all saw and i did add hot sauce because you already know about me and spicy food we have some quest chips right here in the loaded taco absolutely love quest chips the whole bag is four net carbs they have tons of flavors and then i'm going to be drinking some water but today i'm going to be flavoring my water with this meal drops in black cherry cherry blackberry flavor and i'm just gonna sit down and enjoy this while it's hot and wait for my husband to get home so i could serve him my husband's home say hi what's up ready to eat yeah like, what are you doing? Look at her. All booed up with my man. That's jealousy, girl. <laughs> Here's my husband's dinner. He got his burger and his quest chips. I'll probably, you want, probably eat another one after we this. Got, girl. We got and guess girl. who has to work out today? Yeah. <laughs> he got his Coke Zero. That's what he's drinking with it. I got to work out and he has to work out today. She trying to take his burger. Look at her. All right, guys, we ate dinner. It was delicious, really hit the spot. After that, I just took my kids a bath, got them ready for bed, did all that good stuff to get them ready for school tomorrow. And now it is my turn. It's my turn to work out. They're already laying down. And today I'm going to be, right now I'm actually going to be doing 30 minutes on this bike. I haven't messed with it yet. This is gonna be my first time. So I'm gonna mess around with the resistance and all that good stuff and just do 30 minutes, get this cardio in. And then I'm going to be lifting weights. I'm gonna do a couple sets as I always do. Hopefully go up five pounds today. So I'm probably be, be trying to lift 35 pounds today. I'm gonna do some leg workouts and I'm gonna do some ab workouts and call it a night after this. I just shower and hit that bed and i hope y'all enjoyed this what i eat in a day video and if you did please hit that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos of keto recipes and a lot of good tips and i will see y'all in my next video